Good morning, good afternoon, and good day. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at designing a media wall slash media unit using Mosaic. As you can see, there are plenty of different ways that you can design and build these products in Mosaic. But today, we're going to be taking a look at a nice, easy build. I'm going to start this process with a single wall. Obviously, you can build one of these units into a whole room, but for this demonstration, we are going to do one wall and build the product on that. I'm going to start by loading in one of my standard base unit cabinets. I'm going to center that to the wall so I know where I'm building across from, and then I'm going to load up the product. The first changes I'm going to make is I'm going to load in some parameters to make some modifications. So for starters, I'm going to change my top to a full top, and I'm going to remove my back recess. Okay, so now obviously I'm going to want my media wall to be a lot bigger than this. I'm then going to go to my sizes. I know that my wall is 2400 in height and 2400 in width, but I'm going to change my height to 2000, my width to 2400, so that it matches the full width of the wall, and I'm going to give it a depth of 600. So I'm going to clear my face and make sure my interior is cleared as well. So we're going to start to split this product. I'm going to select my interior. And I'm going to split this in three equal sections. And as you can see, I've got it set to open and I've got my styles running. I'm going to split that and you can see the styles are in there. And I'm also going to put automate interior in. This will help me later to make sure that everything splits in the correct places. I'm then going to change the sizes of these two ends. I'm going to change my width to 600 and 600 at the other end as well. I'm then going to split the middle section as well, as I want to have a small rail at the top, and I'm going to put a set of drawers in at the bottom. So I'm going to split this equally three ways, and there we have it. I'm going to start by changing this top bit. 250. That will allow me to put a small speaker in or something at the top that I wish to. And I'm going to change the bottom bit to 600. I'm then going to put a set of drawers down at the bottom. So I'm going to split this again in three, but this time I'm going to split with drawers. And there we go, it's already loaded it in for me. We're then going to go into our interior and I'm going to start to select the panels that are already here. So you can see that there's a partition. I'm going to select this separator here and I'm going to change that to a fixed shelf. And I'm going to do the same with this one here as well. Our wall is starting to take shape. I'm then going to select my two sides and put in some adjustable shelves. So I've already selected the adjustable shelves. And we're going to go for five equal sections. And there we have it. A nice, easy media wall built in no time at all.